Hello guys, Janos here and welcome to Excess Heroes and today in this video it's time to discuss the upcoming Choice Fate Core Ray banner on the Time Walker series. This banner is premiering a total of 6 Fate Core Hero units out of which 2 are Gold Fate Cores and the rest of the 4 are Black Fate Cores. And now the problem is we can only pick 1 out of these 6 and now the question is who are we supposed to select because once you get locked into that particular Fate Core Hero unit that you have selected you cannot pick any other hero unit to summon afterwards okay so you gotta be a little bit smart on that one anyways let's get it started first of all we are going to discuss each of these units and then after that what we are gonna decide who are you supposed to really get all right so anyways, looking into the details of these units, two are gold fate cores and the rest of the four are black fate cores as the gold fate core hero units are going to drop at 0.5% chance from their own banner and you can PD summon them after uh, 28 multi summons, meaning like after 28 multi summons you are going to get them for free, okay? And when we are talking about the black fate core hero units, they are going to drop at 0.7% chance and you can get them for free after 19 multi summons. And this banner is going to go on effect uh, on upcoming Thursday that is 6th of May until 13th of May and that's going to be our total duration of 7 days right or less than 1 week so there we go guys the first uh, multi summon is actually going to cost only 200 sets just like any other choice fate core ray banner and now let's get the discussion started on each of these units out here first let's start discussing from the fate core shell who is a gold fate core hero unit so what's so amazing with the gold fate core shell well she is one of the best utility support unit out there. She can provide that extra turn to any unit that you want in the team right away. And that's the skill that only she possesses in the game for now, okay? I mean, like, you really can pinpoint that particular target and give that character or hero unit an extra turn right away. Not only just extra turn, plus three extra mana. Uh, that uh, she is going to clear all the status effects and she is also going to provide that status effect immunity if I'm not wrong, right? And thanks to her passive skill effect as well, uh, she can actually improve the crit rate of all the alloys by 100%. That is so great indeed, okay? And if she can pair up with the Fate Core Genesis, it's even better because with her first active skill, she can even get rid of those barriers from the uh, first Guardian units and make them unable to get any kind of barrier for the next 10 turns. Not just first Guardians, any other other units like let's say Fedco Rudley who is good at proking up the barriers okay so she is a really great unit but guess what guys she belongs to the Astoris Republic one of the weakest nations out there and when we are considering the tier list of the Exos heroes the nation really do play a vital role meaning like if you are going to create a team around the nation you are going to get a lot of advantage out there and when we are going to sort out the advantage and all the disadvantages of the number of units number of heroes uh, the type of hero units that are present in the team and so on and on well Astoris Republic do not come in a proper equation right <laughs> they are considered one of the weakest team and the combination of fedcore shell and fedcore gina is being considered a little bit weak out there although they really do perform so great in the pve story contents but when it comes to japanese standard battles they are considered a pretty weak team because there are so many amazing units out there that can fulfill the role better than them in terms of various other stuff guys but well when we are talking about the fit shell she's not bad she's amazing she's really awesome and it would definitely be a great stuff to help uh, to have her around and she's definitely a damn hot wife you in unit indeed as well look at us he looks really good and gorgeous guys okay so yes there are so many things that you can do with the fate shell especially with the fate core genai out there being able to remove the barriers as well as making the opponents unable to get the barriers and plus providing that extra turn to any of the units in your team right away is gonna get you guys a really huge advantage in the team right away and her attack speed is pretty good as well basically she has about 70 attack speed if you can improve her then definitely she will she will have a lot more attack speed um, with those signature for boost and so on and on okay so well there we go that's for the fate core shell pretty great unit but the nation itself is not really that great that's why people really I like they they, they, they kind of have this a little bit of hesitation when using fate core shell in the team next is gonna be the fate core talia and now we are talking about the real deal okay fate core talia uh, the unit that most of the people really love to use in their team why cuz well even though she is a healer she is like a real tank, <laughs> all right? The way that she tanks the incoming damage is massive, guys. Oh my god. First of all, thanks to her first active skill, she can 
heavily reduce the incoming damage by I think about 50% right away. That's really great, guys. And on top of that, once you can heal, thanks to her active skills as well as her passive skill. Even her first active skill also heals all uh, heals the ally out there. With the, with her second active skill, she can heal all the allies. And with the, even with the passive skill effect, she can keep on healing the allies out there. All right. So there are so many ways that your team is going to get a lot of sustenance. And if the opponents are actually going to pick on her, or let's say they are going to target. Fate Girl Talia, they are definitely gonna get disappointed because thanks to the first active skill of Talia, she can actually reduce the incoming damage by a massive proportion and she is definitely going to stay around in the battlefield right away. Uh, whenever the allies are going to take some really heavy damage, she is going to uh, get their HP up right away automatically by a massive amount of healing right away. So yes, there are so many ways that she is going to provide that healing as well as that sustenance to the team. It's so great indeed and she is really, really an amazing unit for the Greenland team, one of the best nations out there. Greenland belongs to Fedko Bathory, Fedko Rera, and so on and on. Even the Fedko Tantala as well. <laughs> so yeah, uh, the nation itself is really great. Um, backed up by a strong nation, definitely she has a really vital role to play out there. And with her around, your team can really enjoy a massive durability against your opponents, being able to tank a lot of damage, as well as you know, like just sustaining through all those things out there. So it's definitely great, even for the Holy Dragon Grounds as well. So yes, Fedko Talia definitely an awesome unit and thanks to the signature force you can also deal some really good damage out there as well anyways that's it and done now let's talk about the black fate core hero units and first one let's start with the fate core corge so is it really good to like you know like pick him up i mean like i would say like he's yeah he's a little bit uh, offensive i can I, I mean like he can also decrease the defense of the opponents by 30 percent but it's a little bit conditional all right uh so yeah that's gonna be it kind kind of a little bit good when it comes to providing an additional offense to the team out there but hey there are so many good substitutes that can totally replace our fed Korge. there are so many better units out there so well that's the thing out there anyways when we are talking about the black fed core hero units we can always depend on our loyal Fate Core Recreate Ticket that we are going to get from the Core Raid, Quantum Raid, uh, Monthly Season Mission, and so many other contents out there. So you really don't have to worry about them. Uh, the Black Fate Core Hero units, they usually do drop from those Fate Core Recreate Tickets, and you are going to get this kind of units one day eventually. So no need to worry. All right. But when we are talking about the Gold Fate Core Hero units, they are very, very, very rare indeed. And uh, to get them is really a great plus for your account. All right. So Fate Core Corge. Is good, is good when it comes to like uh, decreasing the defense of the opponents and also provide some really good uh, damage output to the team. But hey, uh, there are better units to substitute him. Next is gonna be the Fate Core Chatty. Well, she's a thick waifu indeed. Man, the way that she has grown. <laughs> really good, man. Really good. I like her. But the thing is, I like. Uh, the way that she has improved her skill sets is like she actually now provides barrier to all the allies in the team But hey, we have our Fate Core Iris that is being used in every team out there And Fate Core Iris can just easily easily dominate and counter the Fate Core Talia So well, I mean like Fate Core Chatty, alright? So Fate Core Chatty, not really much of a big deal out here ladies and gentlemen And that's why Fate Core Chatty is... Uh, even though she's a thick waifu unit it's such a sad story with her. Anyways, next is gonna be our Fate Core Ledger. Well, she's a healer. I think she's a reviver as well. Yes, reviver as well. But, well, uh, there are better healers out there like our Fate Core Talia. Okay? So, no need for our Fate Core Ledger. Next is gonna be the Fate Core Jin. Alright. Fate Core Jin has been recently buffed okay i'm mean, like he recently got that core reverse upgrade and thanks to that he is pretty good unit against the first guardian units being able to deal the damage to the opponents with the barriers like 1 in 20 percent of the barrier value meaning like not only that he's going to remove the barrier he's also going to deal some extra damage out there provided that you have your fate core gene with very high attack stats you can even deal massive damage to them because as a bonus you will also be able to deal i think 250 percent of his attack stats to that particular target which is insane man and yes uh, with all those kind of things definitely he has a lot of uh, like viability out there especially in the wasted red team but hey the problem is that like it's kind of really hard to get him working real nice okay there are a lot of like conditions requirements needed and with that one the things may not really go the way that you want all right it's kind of a bit screwed up <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and once your Fate Core Corrigan dies, even though he has that sticky time bomb or something like that that is, uh, you know, like, um, inflicted on the opponent, it's not gonna be of any use at all. He needs to survive in the team for him to be really that effective. So that's all there is to it, guys. 
So those are my reviews on all those six units and I think you have already noticed that Black Fed Corridor units not really watched uh, checking out on them, all right. Not really that great units uh, that you really have to focus on. Not, a, not one of the best Black Fed Core Hero units out there. So, when, uh, so the choices are pretty much limited to the Gold Fed Core Hero units. And now let's talk about the final contestants. Uh, first is going to be the Fed Core Shell, and second is going to be the Fed Core Talia. So, who are you supposed to pick? Is it going to be the Fed Core Shell or is it going to be the Fed Core Talia? That's really up to you. Who is your favorite wifey unit? And that's all. Uh, and that's that. And if you are actually want to. You know, like go for those functionalities, the one with the better, uh, you know, like performance in the game out there. Then I would say that's gonna be the Fate Core Talia, cause he is backed up by a strong nation. That's the Greenland nation, backed up by Fate Core Bathory and Fate Carrera. So yes, he has a really good support. Whereas our Fate Core Shell, she is kind of deceived by her fate for now, cause she is in the Storage Republic, and the Storage Republic hero units are pretty, not really that good. But with Archbirds, they might actually have some chance, cause. Our Fit Cardeva might actually come back real good. So there, there, is a, there is a probability that they might actually come up real soon, all right? But for now, they are not really that good. And uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. But if you manage to just go and pick on for Fed Shell, I would say not really a bad choice because it's really great when it comes to provide a lot of utility and offensive support to the entire team. Very great unit, guys. Fed Shell. <laughs> She's like a must-have unit in my opinion, all right? Uh, even though like she does belong to a very weak nation. Fate Core Talia is definitely gonna be a very great unit. Um, and if you, if you select her, definitely it's gonna be a really great bonus aid for you guys. Anyways, to summarize all of the things, the first priority is definitely gonna go to Fate Core Talia. Second priority, Fate Core Shell. And third priority, any of these units out here, uh, that's up to you, okay? Third priority, maybe Fate Core Corrigan, Fate Core Chatty, Fate Core Leisure, and Fate Core uh, Jean. But I would say, it's better to focus on the gold fed course and first priority being the fed core talia second being the fed core shell and that's all there is to it what do you guys think about my insights and opinions do let me know in the comment section below i would really love to know about that one and if you guys have your own feedbacks opinions views opinions whatever that is let me know in the comment section below and we can always have a really good discussion about that one all right so that's gonna be it for today see you guys in the next video